Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So if you are new here, you may have missed the show home previously, which I done, which was the Marlow. So make sure you catch up with that. But today we are in the Cambridge one. Um, for those who, as I say, are new, we are at the Finches at Hilton Grange in Halewood in Liverpool. And it has just started pouring with rain. It's actually been snowing today, so not ideal weather. Um, I've actually, I've actually been given a pure personalised red robe brolly. Who is she? But yeah, anyway, we are gonna out of this rain or sleet or snow and head in. No use, I hope my camera is not wet. <laughs> so we are in the Cambridge and already I am loving the vibes and the aesthetic in here. So we will start off in the living space. Wow, it's absolutely gorgeous. I love this sofa. They had very similar in a, another site that I actually visited, um, but they had them in chairs. I think they have them made um, especially and they always do a corner sofa in this house which i love because it really does just make use of the space that you have got in this living area um, and then i love the fact that they've used a very bold green in here too obviously you get the huge windows which were both in the other house and this house like Red Rose known for having amazing windows, amazing ceiling heights, all the things that you will get um, in a home anyway because i feel like sometimes people do knock show homes for space but with retro show homes you're definitely not going to be questioning the space that you do get so yeah i just thought i would point that out um as i say i love the design very simple very effective and a lot of ideas for you to take away to your own retro space as well do let me know in the comments if any of you do have um this cambridge i would love to see it i'm also filming as well um a lot of my other socials for my tiktok and instagram so make sure you do follow me over there at Fenland interiors if you are new but yeah let's wow okay well wow 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 this is definitely a lot bigger than the other home that we've seen already i love the navy blue cabinetry oh my god there's still more room right wow okay wow this is amazing um yeah i love the navy blue cabinetry against the marble worktops just stunning they've also got the induction hub these are add-ons remember um, I also love the fact they've put the sink in front of a window. That is such a big thing for me, you know, in a home. I love to have a sink by a window because when you are doing the dishes or whatever and you don't want to be logging on a wall, do you know what I mean? So great aspect of the home here. And you can fit an amazing six-person dining table on here. You could even put another two chairs on for Christmas, make it eight, do you know what I mean? So it is really spacious. You could turn that into, I think, in the other show home. The one i seen last time because i have been to this one before they may have had an island here you know um so you could actually turn that into an island space and then put your dining table in there and not have the extra seat seating area and um, so that's definitely something that you could consider but i love them wishbone chairs they are beautiful i feel like they may have been from made.com but as we know made.com r.i.p um then again it might come back alive by the time this goes live who even knows love this crucial trading rug you know, your girl knows where things are from, so stick with me, you guys, if you want to know where something is from. But as I say, this is like a little cosy snug, which is gorgeous. You know, you've got to picture yourself in this space, like, you could be sitting here while whoever was making the tea. You know, it's just a really cosy family space. Even if you haven't got a family, like, it's just a really beautiful space. I know so many people who actually do own this home. This is a really popular home. Um, and you can see why. This sideboard as well. I actually feel like a lot of this stuff's from made.com. Maybe wrong. Also, whilst you're here as well, you can have a little watch of all the videos that they do. Um, and it's showing you here actually um, how you can shop all the things that you want and the add-ons for your new home, which is great. So if you are popping into any of the Red Row um, show homes, do make sure you give that a watch for yourself. Outside, first and foremost, we have the gorgeous bifold doors. We love to see it. And then this space is great. So obviously we went from the pagoda before. So you're going to be working with up until there. Oh my God, look at the next house. It's got, it's got an outdoor like gym or something. Can I go and see that? I'm going to ask for the next one. Okay, make sure you stay tuned for that one, guys. Um, love this dining set as well. Beautiful. Love the detail in the back of the chairs. And how cute, by the way. Yeah, I have got Christmas puddings on my nails. They don't want to focus. I know you're jealous of them. How cute are they? Here we have a door. I feel like this is going to be a storage area, like similar to the last home. Defo, get your coat rack or something in here. Suitcases, you name it. A little bit of extra storage for yourselves. 
and then if we come across here we have a utility space i love the way because in the last home they didn't put um cabinets on the top i love that and i think that should definitely be a must in your home to have the extra um storage space and you've also got storage at the bottom and then you've got your um washer dryer again these will be extra add-ons and then you've got a back door here also and then i feel like maybe there's another storage area here oh yeah there is okay well you could actually turn that into your cloak room maybe i don't know um and then i think this is all like your yeah, electrical heating things they're not turned on obviously and by the way i can't shut that door because <laughs> i'm an idiot um so i'm a bit cold because it's literally as you see before the weather's vile um and then as you come through here as well this is a really big downstairs toilet this is definitely bigger than the last one a bit sad that there's not a mirror why is there not a mirror on here i do not know um they always have got these by the way the white company noir wow hand wash and lotion somebody has help themselves to that to be fair i do not blame them um but yeah the downstairs toilet these on the half tile and the paint they didn't do that in the last home so you know getting different ideas um i also love the little signs they have as well like make yourself a home please take off your shoes don't you worry i've done that okay let's go up the stairs also do you know i find that funny they've got a telly obviously like telling you all like the ins and outs of everything but i honestly thought there was like a couple in here before and i was like oh my god i'm filming i'm walking in on a poor couple so this is a four bedroomed home now first before we look at the bedrooms as you get to the upstairs it is the bathroom so i'm going to show you in here do you know why because automatically i smelled something fabulous i don't know what it is are these like red rose own diffusers they smell insane red row don't know what you've used in that but wow it's magic now they've got the bath and shower space here love it love the tiles as well if you use the similar tiles in another show home that we looked at previous and i just love all the style and elements to this space also got the toilet obviously and then this sink area with lots of storage underneath this one actually different oh my god now i'm scared oh oh wow love that girls definitely get your makeup in that like proper love that and then as you come here you have an amazing mirror i wonder if you could take nice pictures in that like is this like a nice light or rubbish i don't know whether it's touch it's not touch screen they do do um they do do touch screen bathroom mirrors um as well um and then they've got the radiators on the wall as well um which i love it saves so much space just having them up on the wall um i just love the sink area this is a really spacious bathroom I don't know whether you can tell but it's really really spacious so yeah let's check out the bedrooms as i say this is a four bedroom i feel like this might be the master bedroom i might be wrong but we're gonna take a shot no it is amazing okay so this is the master suite obviously i already knew that um it's absolutely gorgeous love the headboard love the fact that it's a king size bed and you can tell it is because look at how much space you've got like that is so much space you've obviously got your wardrobes you could actually bring them out if you wanted to and maybe spread them across it honestly depends what you want out of the space this candle i smelt on the way in now you guys this is dw home you can get these in home sense these are the best burners absolutely gorgeous caramel pecan it hasn't even burnt and i can smell it i love all the aspects of the design again putting a mirror in to make this already even huge space even bigger um, and then look at the view outside. It's been snow and news. No, I know. Can you cope? Now, I don't think this one has a garage, or did it? I'm getting all very confused. I don't know whether it did have a garage, um, but the next one does. So, just thought I'd mention that. I just love every aspect of this design. And not to mention, it has a ensuite as well. And it's a very spacious ensuite. I swear this is bigger than my actual family bathroom i love that for me um this is amazing this is gorgeous love the shower we've got a little one of these beautiful we love to see it is the heating actually on in here oh they put the heating on for me i feel spoiled i feel very spoiled the cost of living crisis and they put the heating on for moi thank you um love that oh no that's that's me and my data. Anyway, um, you've got the sink that they also had in the main bathroom. Obviously a toilet. And they've also got a window as well. So great for lighting. I would dream to have like an ensuite like this. Like imagine just shower. Going over in your dressing gown to bed. Putting something nice on Netflix. You have to picture yourself in this space. I mean, I'm picturing myself in this space, definitely. Here, I feel like it might be a boiler. Yes, again, another 
of the scary boiler. I don't know why, I just don't like them. They just look like monsters. I feel like, was there a film I've watched and I've got PTSD when I was, like, younger? I love, by the way, like, a lot of the rooms are given, like, Beatles vibes. Obviously, these show homes are in Liverpool, so... I'm wondering whether that's why, um, but I love the idea, obviously keeping in trend with the area, which is an amazing interior design uh, thing to go off. also love this, now it's not relating to the house, but it's like a peg that holds a picture, isn't that amazing? This space is great, the only, th the only downside is it doesn't have a wardrobe in it. But you definitely could put it in, but you might have to go for like a single bed if you was to put a wardrobe in this extra room. Or if it was an office, then you wouldn't have to worry about anything like that. Because it's definitely something that is spacious for an office. And then if we go over, we have this bedroom. Um, and this is gorgeous. This is a beautiful size bedroom. Like you've got a double bed, you've got a wardrobe space. I love all like the navies keeping quite dark and even though it is quite dark you have got a lot of light coming in from them windows so you can actually get away with dark colours in this space which is brilliant so you're not like limited to what you can do in terms of interiors which I love um, but look how spacious that is like I'm standing like right in the corner like amazing I love it I think it's beautiful and then obviously you've got loads of wardrobe space as well um, here you go can't i'm terrible at opening these i don't know why i think i'm just scared don't want to break anything not that i would but do you know what i mean and then if we go over the way here as well oh we've got a gorgeous little children's room i love it that's good do you know what that's very much like i wasn't expecting that you could always move the bed as well and put a wardrobe here you know and move the bed like maybe here or again have this as your office space or you could even convert it into a walk-in wardrobe see there's just so many great ideas that you could do like honestly so many i absolutely love it and look how spacious it is i'm gonna stand in the corner again because you've got like a little console here as well which i love it's absolutely gorgeous so of course i had to come back to the gorgeous lighting in the bathroom for the outro of this video so yeah that was the cambridge show home i do hope you enjoyed it it was a four bedroom um as I said in the previous video, I'm going to leave all the details of this site below for you to get prices, things like that. Make sure you come and visit if you are from the area as well. And I'm sure a red row site in your area will have show homes for you to view as well. But I actually really love this house. House, I felt like it was so misleading because outside I didn't expect it to be this big. Inside, it is absolutely gorgeous. So I do hope you enjoyed this tour. Now, I did do one previously on the same site. Um, so make sure you catch up with that and I'm also doing another one um, on this site as well which I believe is the Canterbury I think I think um, so yeah it's absolutely pouring down with rain as I said on the previous video it's absolutely vital outside so I'm going to run over to that show home so I will catch you over on the next video